I'm working on my tiny bass boat this morning, hashtag tiny boat nation. She's coming along nicely. And I've got the casting deck and I'm starting to wire it up. And I'm about ready to hard wire up my Hummingbird 580 fish finder with GPS. And this has been a sweet little unit. I've got it all set up portable for my canoe. And I used this fish in a lot last year in some Berkey spots. And it was a really sweet setup that I had going on. So I've got the 580 fish finder with GPS and I've got that mounted right on top of this really cheap toolbox that I got for $6.99 at Martin's. Inside I've got the wiring harness all coiled up nice and neat. I've got a small little battery in here and that battery gives me about enough juice for two, two and a half, maybe three days of use which is really nice. It uh, charges up nicely too. It's adequate for the use that I got it. And I think I only spent like uh, 50 bucks for that at AutoZone. But this is a sweet little setup. And I'm right near the lake. So it's already marking all my waypoints for my spawning bass locations. So I've got that all wired up in there. I've got a little piece of paracord rope that I tie off to the canoe just so I, if I ever did flip, I wouldn't lose it overboard. It's been a really nice unit. Marked some really good structure and fish. So I've got the transducer set up coming out of the box. It runs on this three quarter inch piece of PEX pipe. It's all beat up. I've got an alligator clamp that I use to clamp to the side of the boat. And that transducer wire runs right through that PEX and out here. And I've got it just bolted right on there. It's a decent setup. I don't like the transducer setup that much. I had some issues with it. The PEX tends to flex a little bit when you're on a full troll paddle, and so doesn't the alligator clamp. It tends to pivot. So I wish I had done something a little bit more rigid on that. And I had a setup in mind that I was going to set up and run, but I'm not going to run this as my portable setup anymore. I'm going to mount this permanently, hardwire it right into the tiny bass boat. I'm probably going to get like a deeper Pro Plus or something like that for the canoe setup. Um... I also noticed that with this transducer in the water that you really it really tends to drag on the boat. It's got a good amount of hydro drag and I lose about three quarters of a mile to mile an hour running the transducer in the water. I noticed with the GPS and I don't know how accurate that is because it says I'm going 0.2 miles an hour right now. But it's been a sweet setup. I just want to make a video before I took it all apart, disassembled it and hardwired in the bass boat so more to come on the bass boat though that's a fun, a fun little late winter early spring project and that's your hummingbird fish finder 580 with gps portable unit